Well, during times of crisis, we often see people helping each other. But the annual United Way Day of Caring aims to help Northland nonprofits even when nothing's going wrong. Northern News Now's Madison Green shows us how helping with the everyday task can make the biggest impact. Several members of Minnesota Power visited Lincoln Park Wednesday to paint the town blue. We moved into our new space three years ago and it needed a refresh. We decided to go with a color that would just be a little more bright and cheery for kids. With the help of volunteers participating in the annual Head of Lakes United Way Day of Caring, Duluth Children's Museum Executive Director Drew Jensen was able to complete a task three years in the making. This is only one group of the 250 volunteers working on projects for 20 different nonprofits throughout the Twin Ports and Two Harbors. And it's also a great way for community members to learn more about the amazing nonprofits that we have in this community. While the volunteers learn about the nonprofits by completing these tasks, Lonnie Stallsmith, the YWCA Duluth Early Childhood Director, says this help allows the nonprofits to focus on their individual missions. We already have classrooms that the teachers, they absolutely per licensing have to be in. They can't just leave to go do these projects. Us directors and the other admin staff, we have things that need to be done on a daily basis. These are things that we can't prioritize. Saving them time and money. We were so excited just to pay for the cost of um, pizza and the paint supplies and stuff like that. So Minnesota Power stepping up and really donating their time and their energy today saved our organization thousands of dollars. Helping those who help others. In Duluth, Madison Green, Northern News Now. The next United Way event is the annual Stuff the Bus to donate school supplies for students. Oh, cancer patients.